What's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Mold. So happy to be here with you guys. We are building another base. You can see this sweet one right here. It's kind of like a maze, confusion. I named it the confusion base uh, on my Clash of Clans builder account. Guys, if y'all don't know what Clash of Clans builder is, check it out. It literally is so much easier than building in the game. I have it pulled up right here on my other screen. That's how it always is for any of my building videos, guys. Uh, it makes it so much easier easier so go ahead though i'll put a link in the description guys clash clans builder.com check out it they just updated the site it's sweet you can see like the radiuses of your buildings all this kind of stuff um but we're gonna go ahead and jump into this base build guys again it is going to be another farming base because i am trying to protect my dark elixir that's my biggest thing right now is protecting my dark elixir um so let's go ahead and drag everything in here though guys i think this base looks pretty cool i'm excited to try it out and see how well it works. So we're gonna go ahead, put our dark elixir right there in the middle, um, and then we're gonna bring in the rest of our central building. So obviously the clan castle, if you're in a active clan, is very, very, very important. Um, next, mortars, guys, splash damage. Why did I put those there? <laughs> I, I wasn't paying attention. So the mortars don't go there, but um, splash damage, splash damage, splash damage, guys. It is so, so unbelievably uh, important to build up your splash damage and to have it in areas uh, that really cover everything that you're trying to protect. Splash damage is key to protecting against uh, anything when it comes to farming, especially because people tend to send in large mass uh, of troops, large masses of troops, and if you have splash damage spread out, um, it's just going to wreck them, especially if people barge and things like that. Um, next, we're going to go ahead and just bring in our air defenses to help uh, cover the majority of the center of the base, guys. And now we're going to bring in our mortars and throw those uh, out here on these sides uh, next to the air defenses. And they are covering the majority of the base, as you can see. Uh, they cover all these little extra sections over here and whatnot. So the mortars are placed really, really well, and they're definitely going to be super effective when it comes to defending this base for me. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and uh, throw in the rest of our resources. Now, guys, I'm full on elixir. Somebody just raided me and stole 300,000 of my elixir, uh, but I collected what was in my collectors, and I'm practically full again. So, <laughs> for the most part, my uh, my goal is not to protect the uh, the dark the elixir. It is to protect the gold because I am still trying to upgrade walls. And obviously my Dark Elixir is most important because I'm trying to upgrade my troops. Um, we're going to go ahead and bring in the rest of our buildings now, our defenses. So as I always say, guys, it's important to go uh, Archer Tower, Cannon, Archer Cannon, Archer Cannon, all the way around your base. Uh, just because that way you have enough point defenses and whatnot surrounding your base that is going to be protected on all sides from a lot of air defense and from a lot of uh, ground defenses in uh, in the cannons and whatnot. Uh, where is that other archer tower? So that other archer tower is going to go right here, and that is going to be it for archer towers. Now we're going to bring in our cannon. So we've got one cannon right here, so you can see it goes archer, cannon, archer, then we're going to throw a cannon right here, cannon, archer, uh, cannon right here, then archer again, and cannon right here. We're going to scoot that over, and I'll show you guys why in just a second, and then archer, and uh oh, and cannon right up here and then it heads back around to that archer again so you definitely want to make sure that you guys do that uh, just because it helps your base be covered equally uh, when it comes to uh, the type of defenses because archer towers are air defenses as well so you definitely want to make sure that you have as much air defense and as much ground defense spread out evenly throughout your entire base um, <clears throat> now let's go ahead and, and have some fun with these traps guys that's why I built this base like I did for the traps and whatnot. Um, we're going to go ahead and bring in a spring trap right here. We're going to bring in a seeking air mine right there as well. And we need to scoot this archer tower again over. And we're going to bring a bomb right there. And we are going to bring a little bomb in right here. So these little trap sections are going to work flawlessly when it comes to uh, causing a lot of damage to these people as they try and attack my base. So we're going to bring in that other Tesla right there. We are going to throw in one of our skeleton traps and we are going to throw in another uh, spring trap right there, and then here goes another giant bomb in that area and another little bomb right there. So people are going to get absolutely wrecked from all these spring traps and all these bombs and whatnot all the way across the base. 
Uh, we're going to bring in these other two bombs right here, and we are going to bring in one of our air defenses right over here. And then lastly, we are going to uh, go ahead and bring in a giant bomb right here since we don't have a Tesla. And we are going to do spring trap and bomb. Guys, one of the things I always say in my videos is it's important to spring them. Uh, and then to cause damage to uh, the rest of them. So you really want to pay attention to make sure that you spring the troops off first so that you're not wasting damage because if you, um, if you cause damage and then spring a troop off, you've wasted whatever damage you did to that troop. If it was at 50% health and then it gets flung, then it's not good. So you want to fling it off and then cause damage to it um, after that. So that is something very, very important that a lot of people don't really think about, but it's important to pay attention to. Um, we're gonna bring in a spring trap right. Is that where I wanted that? Did I move that down too far? I feel like I moved that down too far. I did. Where's that extra wall? This is supposed to go up one. We're gonna select this. No, not that row. Stop it. <laughs> no, stop. Bring that up there and now select this row and bring that out right here. There we go. And then we need to bring another, uh, let's go ahead and bring in our, uh, our army camps. We're going to fill, why, what did I do wrong here? Did I not build these out far enough, guys? Select row, we're going to throw this right here. All of our army camps we have built in right here. Uh, we'll go ahead and bring in this other one right there. Bring in this army camp. And lastly, bring in this army camp as well and then we're going to throw in a spring trap right there also um, <clears throat> and let's go ahead and again I've got it pulled up over here on clashclansbuilder.com guys and I can just uh, look over here and make it very very easy uh, to follow oh, no, what did I do <laughs> let's bring in our last where is our last seeking air mine we want to put those by our air defenses so we have that one right there we're gonna throw this other one in right here so if anybody comes in and tries to get our air defense with lava hounds they are going to get uh, they're gonna get a good amount of damage from that we'll go ahead and bring in a, another air defense right there and another uh, mine as well now we're just gonna continue working our way around the base guys one thing that I always say is you want to have a non-resource building and then a resource building so you can see laboratory loot uh, army camp and then loot and then barrack then loot as I, this is something that I always do in my videos guys uh, just because it helps to spread out your resources so if you're away from your base for a little bit and somebody comes and attacks you they're not just going to be able to deploy on one side and get all of your loot from you so that's something that you should definitely pay attention to when it comes to uh, designing your base let's go ahead and bring this over here throw this right in here we've got some builder huts to bring in as well so builder hut right there and builder hut right here Builder's Hut right here. Let's just throw the rest of these things in here um, on this side. And then we should be good to go. But guys, we are going to hit 300,000 subscribers um, by Friday. So you know what that means. That means we're going to have a 12-hour stream on Saturday, guys. I'm going to start streaming at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Okay, so I live in North Carolina. So look up North Carolina time depending on where you live and uh, you will be able to figure out when that is 9 a.m. until 9 p.m. on uh, Saturday, this coming Saturday. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this, guys, and this is going to be our new base set as active. There we have it. I think this base looks really, really cool. Um, I think it's gonna do a good job of protecting my Dark Elixir, and I would definitely let you guys see that as well. I'm gonna be streaming today at three o'clock Eastern time, guys, so definitely make sure that y'all check that out. Uh, go over there to twitch.tv forward slash gamer with molt. Leave a follow. And again, this Saturday, guys, 12 hour stream. It's going to be epic. Base reviews, music, contests, all this kind of stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really, really do appreciate it. And as always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on them, right? See you guys later. Peace.